What's up guys, welcome to Ben Isel Guy. If you guys hear any background noise, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I can't help it, like there's another person in the house with me. But what I have for you today is a review of the Xbox 360 wireless racing wheel. This is made by Microsoft and this is used so you can play racing games. So let's take a look at the hardware. So as you can see, the steering wheel right here, it's got a nice rubber finish to it. So that way you have a better grip on the wheel itself so that way your hand doesn't slip and you have this aluminum right here and right here as well as well as the chrome right here now if we take a look you have your directional pad your back button your xbox guide button your start button as well as your action buttons that you're used to on your xbox 360 you know a x b and y let's take a look at the device itself so here's the right side of it and over here, you have a battery cover right here, which this does run AA batteries wirelessly. In this case, I have a rechargeable battery right there. So I'm just gonna put that back. Let's go to the back. Okay, now the back, you only have two ports right here. And the ports are, you basically have your charging port as well as your RJ11 port. Now what that RJ11 port does is that it'll connect your pedals with the steering wheel itself, which I will go over soon. And then here's the left side of the device. As you can see, it is really nice. That white part that you saw on the, sorry for being shaky here, I'm carrying my tripod as well. The white part is actually a matte finish as you would find on your Xbox 360 consoles, mainly the older ones. And of course, this part right here is your pedal. So you have the brake right here as well as the gas. And then if you flip it over, over here, you see the RJ11 port, which connects from the pedal to your steering wheel in order to control your car, in order to increase the speed or stop the speed or stop the car from running, I mean. Now, with your Xbox 360 wireless racing wheel, you're going to get your game demo disc. Now, this demo right here, it's basically Forza Motorsport 2. And then you have your uh, power cable right here, which uh, I'll explain what this is for, but you can also use this for charging, but there's another thing. And you have your RJ11 cable right here, which this is what it looks like. And it's the same thing with the other end, so you can connect both the steering wheel and the pedals together. And we have the lap mount. Now what this does is that you can mount this to your table and then put the steering wheel on top of it if it's a really low table that to increase the height of the steering wheel to your liking or you can keep this on your lap itself and then of course you have all your documentation right here the manuals as well as a quick start guide on how to do things okay so what this steering wheel features is force feedback rumble feedback it's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology and it can be up to 9 meters or 30 feet and this is a 10 inch steering wheel that you see right here and this has an integrated headset port, which is right here that I forgot to mention. And of course, the lap mount. Now, this product isn't the newest product out there. It's actually discontinued from Microsoft completely. But this was released in December 21st, 2007, which I actually got this around 2009 in April or May. Uh, the product dimensions, it is 19.5 inches by 15 inches by 12 inches. And this weighs only 13 pounds. Okay, so let's go over on how this thing works. Well, first of all, like you have your Xbox guide button right here and if you push on it, it'll light up and then it will connect to your Xbox 360 and you are using this wirelessly. Now, when you're using it in wireless mode, you can feel that the steering wheel is very loose. Now, what I mentioned before when I was going over the specs or the features of this steering wheel, I mentioned that it has force feedback. Now, the only way that can happen is that you have the cable plugged in, which is right here. So I have it connected to the wall right here, and I'm just gonna connect this part to the steering wheel itself. If I can find it. Okay, and as you can see, the steering wheel repositioned itself uh, back into standard position. So, when it's a standard position, that means if you were to turn, you can feel that it's a little bit harder to turn because 
it's taking advantage of the force feedback version feature right now, I'm sorry. And if I were to let go of the steering wheel, it just repositions itself. Now, that's only when the device is on. If it was off, then the steering wheel, you could turn it, however, it would be a little bit harder, uh, which the only time you would do that is when you're charging the battery pack, which is what I have in there right now. And I did mention in order to use this with your pedals, which is right here, you could connect one part to the RJ11 port right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna slide it underneath. Notice that it has a hole right here to have your cable feed through like that. So I'm just gonna put this or slide this underneath the table. Sorry if I'm bumping the tripod right here. And what I'm gonna do is connect this to the RJ11 port back here. And there we go. All right guys, so I positioned myself perfectly so you should be able to see both the steering wheel and the screen that we're gonna be playing with today. Now, what I'm playing is Forza Motorsport 2, which is actually the game that this wheel was optimized for. So we're gonna click Start Race. And as you can see, I'm driving a 2004 Cadillac CTS. Let me lower the volume down here because I feel like it's too loud for you guys. All right, so we're gonna do it about there. And as you can see, uh, I'm using the steering wheel without the force feedback right now. And let me just halt to a stop right here. Okay, now, let's see if I make the slightest turn that the car will turn itself. So, making a slightest turn right here. And as you can see, the wheel right there is moving a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna reposition back to position. And now, what I'm gonna do is start driving a little bit. And as you can see, as I make the slightest move, the car turns. Well, I'm messing up here. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Do not do that when you're driving, guys, for real. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the cable right here for force feedback. Now we're gonna play with this thing in force feedback. So here we go. As you can see, I'm driving right now. Now, as you see right here, the steering wheel is actually steering for me in order to get me back into position. So let's say if I were to do this, ignore the crash I did right there, the steering wheel repositioned itself back to normal position. And as you can see, I scratched up the Cadillac. Oh, well, this is only a test video anyway. Now, you're not going to be able to get this force feedback feature on every game. Only the games that this thing is optimized for. For example, the game that I usually play with this to steering wheel on is Need for Speed Most Wanted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to Need for Speed Most Wanted and we'll see what happens there. Alright guys, so I got Need for Speed Most Wanted playing here. And as you can see, I don't have the cable plugged in, so that means I'm just playing this in wireless mode. So I'm just gonna drive a little bit here. Now, let's say if I make the slightest turn, so I have it in a normal position now, and I'm just gonna step on the gas a little bit. And as you can see, I'm turning a little bit right now. The car isn't really turning. Now, this isn't the steering wheel's fault. This is just the way this game was produced. For example, like, if you just make the slightest turn, the EA, which is Electronic Arts, that made this game, I believe, they probably didn't make the game for you guys to make the slightest movement in order to make the slightest turn. Now, this is how I usually play Need for Speed Most Wanted. I just have it in wireless mode, and I just play and just drive around the town. Now, I have tried playing this game with the force feedback, and it is not the same experience you get on Forza. So let me pull over right here before anybody decides to hit me, especially a cop, since once they hit you and you stay there, then they're gonna go after you, which is bull crap. So as you can see, the steering wheel repositions itself back into normal mode. Now, I am playing this in force feedback mode right now, and let's say 
if I make the slightest turn. Wow, this car doesn't know how to drive. Now, it repositioned itself back into normal mode. However, it didn't fix my balance. For example, in Forza Motorsport, let's say if I had it right here, and then to keep my balance, it would go over a little bit and then back into the normal position. Need for Speed Most Wanted, it doesn't do that because this steering wheel wasn't optimized for Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now, is that a bad thing? No. Is it the same experience you get under Forza Motorsport 2? No. However, you are getting an awesome product right here and this works for any racing game out there. The only game that it doesn't work for is Full Auto because Full Auto, it is a racing game. However, the cars have guns on them. So that is more like for a regular controller type game. Anyway guys, this is my review of the wireless racing wheel for the Xbox 360. This is made by Microsoft. I'm kind of disappointed that Microsoft discontinued this product. This will run you $489, I believe, on Amazon. However, it is worth it, and I recommend you guys get the newer ones. Like, I mean, get it brand new, because if you get it used, you never know what's going to happen, and then you're going to end up sending it back. Anyway, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you click that like button down below, as well as subscribe for more videos like this. And for more updates, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash benisoutguide, because the YouTube homepage isn't the best. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm going to end it right here before I get any copyrights.